Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to learn how to find the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix. Now a 3x3 three three is a little more involved than a 2x2. Two two. We're going to use the method of diagonals. There actually are two different methods for doing this one, but we're going to use the diagonal method. Okay, so we have a 3x3 three three matrix where this is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. We have nine elements in the matrix. What we're going to do is set up a matrix below that with these three columns and then we're going to add two columns to the back of it and the, the back two columns are actually going to be the first two columns just rewritten. So let's bring all that down. So here's my first column, negative one, two, three. My second column is two, negative one, five, and my third column is seven, negative one, two. Now I'm going to take these first two columns and rewrite them at the back. So I'm going to write negative 1, 2, 3, and then 2, negative 1, 5. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and multiply together and get the product of these diagonals. So I'm going to start at the top left corner and I'm going to go down a diagonal and multiply these together. So negative 1 times negative 1 times positive 2. That gives me positive 2. I'm going to add to that the next diagonal. 2 times negative 1 times 3, which is what? Negative 6. Then I'm going to add to that the product of the third diagonal, which is 7 times 2 times 5, which is 70. Now, that adds up to 72 minus 6, which is, what's that, 66. Okay, so there's the product of my down diagonals, the product of each one, and then the, I take the sum of those diagonals. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the other set of diagonals. I'm going to start at the bottom left corner and multiply up. So 3 times negative 1 times 7 is negative 21. 5 times negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 5. And 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Now I'm going to add those together. So negative 21 and 5 is negative 16. Negative 16 plus 8 is 24. Okay, so I have a negative, that's not negative, that's not 24, that's negative 16 plus 8, which is negative 8. Let's make sure we can add correctly. Okay, now, once I get the diag the product of the diagonals at the bottom, and the sum of those three, and then I take the product of these diagonals and get the sum of those three, I then take the bottom and I subtract the top. So I've got 66 minus negative 8. So I take bottom minus top to get the final answer. And 66 minus negative 8 actually means I'm going to add. So this is going to add to 74. So there is the determinant using diagonals of a 3 by 3 matrix.